Well, I'll be damned. What is happening to the man of steel? So this article I came upon says one of Superman's powers has reverted to its original form. Check this out. I knew y'all would want to hear about this. You Superman fans like I am. So as over the years, Superman's power level has fluctuated rapidly as writers have given and taken away some of the Man of Steel's abilities in order to embolden or humanize him. But in this week's Superman number 40, Clark Kent underwent one change that brought him back to a level not seen in over 70 years. The history behind Superman's ever-changing power, yeah, that's something else, okay. So, it says, warning, minor spoilers. In the past few weeks since Superman gained his super flare power and an ability that at the cost of leaving him powerless for a day lets him unleash all of his solar energy in his body as a humongous energy blast. Clark has been shown as experimenting with his new power and the relative freedom that comes from the periods of powerlessness. Now he can do he can do a solar what is it called solar flare solar flare and hit off Lois without worrying about nothing. But anyway, it says um Clark has been shown experimenting with his power and the relative freedom. Okay. Uh, he said the superpower leaves Clark naked as the flare burns all his clothes away. See? That's if that ain't the way to to step in the bedroom. Just burst and burn all your fucking clothes off like. I'm ready, baby. Could you imagine doing that and just see embers like floating and shit to and fro? Like in 300, remember? He's like, Lord Leonidas with the mighty 300. And you can see all the, mem the embers. Anyway, so, um, uh, so it leaves him naked and uh, burns all his clothes away. So to be fair, a great deal of that experimentation has left him hilariously naked a bunch of times to boot comic books. But anyway, as Superman has experimented with the power uh, with the help of his fellow Justice League teammates, he's discovered that some of his other powers have changed too. One major one in particular is mentioned offhandedly in this week's comic. Yeah, that's a question that requires a specific answer, big guy. I think my flying power is limited to jumps, and that seems indefinite. You think? Indefinite? That's right, Superman can no longer fly. And Clark Kent even thinks that it's not going to change back in the foreseeable future. Instead, he jumps really high, like the Hulk. <laughs> Before you start scratching your heads in confusion, this isn't actually new. It's actually reverting back to how Superman's powers originally um, worked. Yes, you know, able to leap a tall building in a single bound. Yes, that's what he could do. When he first debuted in Action Comics number one way back in 1938, Superman couldn't fly at all. Instead, he could jump the wonderful specific height of one eighth of a mile. Hmm. Okay, his ability to fly would first appear in Superman cartoons and radio plays before he picked it up in the comics for the first time in 1941. So really, in one way, Superman is now closer to his original introduction than he has been in nearly 75 years. The more things change in comics, the more they stay the same, it seems. So what do y'all think about that? I don't know, this is going to really limit the man, you know? He he got he to got jump everywhere like the Hulk now. You know, the, joke, the Hulk jumps a few miles at a time. What was he jump, three miles at a time? Is that what he does? I can't remember, but... Oh man, I don't, I want to see how this is going to turn out in the comics. Y'all got to update me too, let me know stuff. That's really interesting. I highly doubt that. That will be in the movies for a few years though. But that's, that'll be interesting to see how it turns out. So post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Superman only being able to jump, jump real high. See, white men can jump. You see that shit? One million subscribers. Woo!